They say you can have too much of a good thing, but can you have too much coffee? Good morning to wherever you are, this is your Java man, and I want to say thank you so much to Medical Daily, the Mayo Clinic, and the Reactions YouTube channel, because I wasn't sure where to find out all this information, and they really helped me out big time in figuring out how to answer this question. So the question is, can coffee kill you and how much will kill you? Well, if you're allergic to it, then even just a sip will give you an anaphylactic reaction and then you'll die from one sip of coffee. So there you have it. I hope you enjoy your day and go brew up some love for somebody. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't do that to you. That is terrible. I've got to go deeper into this and your caffeinated Miss Frizzle, or I guess Mr. Frizzle, is about to take you on a wild adventure. Let's go. So first off, we have to figure out, okay, what can actually kill you with coffee? Now, we've got three things here that could potentially take you out of the game. First one is temperature. Second is the amount of fluid you might be drinking, or amount of coffee in this case. And then, of course, everyone's favorite part of coffee, which is the caffeine. Now, coffee itself is known to be a deliciously hot drink. Now, sometimes we drink it a little too hot and it can scald our mouth and our throat and it really just kind of hurts pretty bad. The problem with this, however, is when you do that over a period of time, you're damaging the cells in your mouth, in your esophagus, and could potentially be causing these new cells that will be growing over top to have a mutation and potentially give you mouth and esophageal cancer. So say you're a wild man and you want to drink scalding hot coffee, 2 to 12 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. Well, what's going to happen is it's going to burn your mouth, burn your esophagus, and burn your stomach. This will cause, of course, immense pain. It's going to cause you to have some inflammation going on in there. So what it's going to do is it's going to get red. It's going to get swollen. And not only does that stink in your mouth, and in your stomach, but it's going to be in your esophagus. Now, if you're not savvy with the human body, your esophagus is right next to your trachea, and your trachea goes to your lungs to help you breathe. So a swollen esophagus is going to push on the trachea, causing your breathing to be very labored and may even cut off your airway. So for all you know, that one sip of coffee could be your last sip of coffee ever. Now when it comes to fluids, it really depends. Now when it comes to a 165 pound person, six liters or a little over a gallon and a half of water is going to kill you. You might be trying to figure out, well, isn't water good for you? Well, yes, but again, there's always that too much of a good thing going on here. Now what's gonna happen here is things like your potassium, your calcium, that kind of thing, if they get too low or too high, then they will start causing heart arrhythmias and potentially lethal heart rhythms. And what's even scarier is your sodium, when it gets so diluted, you get fluid in the brain causing a fluid toxicity or water toxicity in your brain causing swelling in your brain cells, giving you seizures, giving you coma, and potentially death. Would this apply to coffee? I would say yes. All coffee is, is ground coffee, hot water, or in some cases cold water, and just filtered through the coffee beans. So this is still water, it's just got a lot of the properties from these coffee beans. Now this is the part I've been waiting, and I know everyone else has been waiting for, is how much caffeine can kill you? Now, too much caffeine has been known to cause insomnia, irritability, restlessness, or rapid heart rate, those kinds of things. However, how much is, well, too much? Now, we've got to look and first see how much caffeine is in, well, coffee. Well, a cup of 8-ounce brewed coffee is around 95 to 200 milligrams of caffeine, depending, you know, the strength of how you brew it and those sort of things. Now say we're comparing the caffeine content to say black tea, green tea, a coke, even espresso, red bull, these kinds of things, that's a good bit of caffeine in one drink. Now for the average person around 400 milligrams of caffeine is okay, so they said around maybe 4 cups of coffee should be fine for you each day. But we're not trying to do that. What we're trying to figure out is how much coffee is going to kill you. So first we need to figure out how much an average person weighs. 
Now in 2005, yeah I know that was, what, 11 years ago? At this point anyways. The average American weighed about 80.7 kilograms. Now, for those of you who are not metrically inclined, that is about 178 pounds. Now, in order to figure out how much coffee would really kill you, it took a lot of research for me to figure out, but I found this really super cool calculator where you can plug in your weight and what type of drink could potentially kill you in terms of an overload of caffeine. Now for the average American at this weight, it takes near 157 espresso shots or 174 cups of coffee to become lethal for you. So say that's an eight ounce cups, that's over 17 and a half liters of coffee, over four and a half gallons of coffee, and even more than an elephant's trunk can hold at one time. Again, we have to take into consideration the weight. So if you weigh more, it's gonna take a little more caffeine to take you out of the game. In terms of a smaller person, it's gonna take less caffeine to actually become lethal. So that's it. For the average American, it takes around 74 and a half cups of coffee to become lethal. So if you thought this was interesting, if you want me to do a little more videos like this, please let me know in the comments. If there was some additions you thought might needed to get made for this, please let me know. I love to learn. If you have an idea for a coffee for me to review, I have one coming up in mind for the near future. Um, if you have a country or a state you want me to review the history and that type of thing for coffee around the world, please let me know. And hey, don't get lethal with it but let's go brew up some love for somebody.